Hi, everyone. Just decided to kind of spontaneously go live this evening. <laughs> so I'm not sure how many folks will join, but uh, you'll have this to access later anyway. So, um, so I'm not going to wait too long for folks to join because I know it's um, very spur at the moment. So I'm just going to go get my mat and maybe steal some props. I don't know if you guys can hear my wave sound machine in the background, but since I can't play uh, my music over uh, social media, I've got my wave machine going, which is actually really, really nice, and now I'm just starting to sleep to it. But. <laughs> um, so if you're going to flow with me here, uh, collect some props, mat, or if you're on carpet, that's totally fine, too. We're going to stay seated the whole time, so don't really need a mat. Um, you might want to have a blanket or maybe like a little flat pillow if you want um, that's more comfortable for you when you're seated. Maybe a block, but um, not too much. So, um, so what I wanted to do tonight, as I landed on my mat last night, um, obviously it's been a long week um, for us here at the club having to close on Monday. Um, but I know it's been an extraordinarily hard week for a lot of other people out there as well. Um, so I just thought, you know, we've been providing a lot of um, at-home workouts to get keep people um, kind of on track with their fitness goals and everything. But it's also important to listen to your body and maybe slow down when you need a little bit um, of a rest and a breather, which is definitely what I needed last night. So I just wanted to bring that to you guys this evening, just in case you might need the, the same thing. So um, so we're just going to stay down on our mat the whole time, seated or on our backs. We're not going to get up at all. Um, so very low-key flow here. <laughs> um, and it won't be very long. I'm thinking we'll probably just go about 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to start um, in a seated position, and I'm going to just give myself a little bit um, of a cushion. So if you have a folded blanket or pillow or anything um, that's more comfortable for you to come down seated. Let me go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and start. So just come into the seated position. Just let gravity do a little bit of work here so that you're so feel like you're grounding down through your sit bones. And you let your eyes close and your gaze lower. And your hands can just rest on your thighs or on your knees, whatever's comfortable. And just maybe beginning to observe your breath without changing it, just Notice the natural rhythm of your breath at this point in time. Maybe it's a little shallow or uneven. Maybe it's smooth and deep. After observing that for a few moments, you can just gently start to lengthen out that breath a little bit more. Maybe in your head you're counting as you inhale, maybe to a three count or a four count. You're just comfortable or not kind of pushing or forcing anything. And then your exhale matches that same count for your four. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling three, two, one. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhaling three, two, one. 
to go through a little bit of an exercise uh, we call attention and release. So we're not feeling really uh, tense. Uh, this is a nice way to kind of notice that and then get your body to gradually release. So I'm going to start by just tensing, making fists. Really squeeze and really tight. Take a deep breath and inhale. And then exhale, gently open up the fist and release. And then one more time, you do this. Squeeze it really, really tight. Take a breath in. And then exhale. And I'm going to do the same thing with the shoulders. So inhale and shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Keep them up there, shrug really tight. Deep breath in. And then exhale. Let the shoulders melt down. And one more time. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up all the way up to the ears. And then exhale. Inhale. And I'll start moving a little bit more here. So just inhale, both arms overhead. Exhale, release. So the arms go down. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. This time, inhaling both arms overhead. We're going to interlace the fingers here and then flip the palms up to the sky. Press them away. Deep breath in. And then on your exhale, flip the palms back and then round the back a little bit as you bring those arms forward, pressing the knuckles away. And your chin can tuck slightly here. And then inhale, release, come to cactus arms and just open up the chest. And exhale down. Let's take that again. Inhale, arms overhead. And release and press. Exhale, flip, knuckles come forward, round the back. And then inhale, open up cactus. And exhale down. Let's take that one more time. Inhale the arms up. Interlace. Press to the sky. Exhale, flip around the arms forward. And then inhale. Back this open up the chest. And exhale down. Nice. And maybe just shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Just some shoulder rolls here. stretch with the neck here. So just begin to walk your right fingertips away from you on the floor. And then take your head over to the left. Make a little stretch there. If you want a little bit more, you can gently take the left hand and just gently rest it on top of the head. We're not really pulling, just that little bit of weight there just adds a little bit more intensity to the stretch. I'm going to go here for a few breaths. Maybe coming back to your three or four count breath that we started with. Sides, we'll walk the left fingertips a little bit away on the floor and tilt the head over to the right. And then maybe if you want, you can take that hand just a little bit of pressure on top.
And on your next exhale, and head back to center. And we'll just do a few neck rolls here. So take the chin down to the chest, and then a gently roll to one side. Lift the chin up to the sky, and around to the other side. We'll just take a few rolls in one direction. If you feel like you want to stay in any position, in a particular spot, feel free. And then the next time the chin gets down to the center, we'll switch directions. Back down to the chest and come back up. All right. And then we'll do a couple more movements before we get off this seat. So but if you feel like you need to kind of extend the legs and stretch out, feel free. So I'm just going to again walk my right fingertips away and then inhale my left arm over. Bend at the right elbow to get a little bit deeper stretch here. Inhale, looking up underneath my shoulder. And then I'm going to exhale, left hand down to the floor. And then using my hands for support, I'm just going to cross over little by little, being gentle on my back, come over to the left side here and find my side bend on the side. And then one more time, I'm going to switch, take it over to the right side. Deep breath in. And then exhale, hands down, cross arm over arm, working your way over to the left. And then back through center. And then we're going to take that the other side. So left fingertips walk away, come down. Maybe left elbow bends right arm to the sky. Maybe looking under that shoulder. Still rooting down through both my sit bones here. My right sit bones trying to pop up. And gently trying to coax it down. And on an exhale, then right hand comes down and crisscross. Over to the right. And go back through center and over to the left. And then again, take it down, cross it over. To the right. And then up through center. All right. And inhale both arms overhead here. Exhale, bring both hands down in front. And we're just going to keep a long spine here. And just very gently walk the hands a little forward. We don't want to come super deep. This is a gentle flow. We haven't done a whole lot of warm up um, to do too much forward folding. So just a little bit of a forward bend here. I don't want to pull anything on that lower back. Nice full breath in. Exhale it out. And then gently begin to make your way forward. Come up out of that seat. Remove any blanket or pillows you might have. And we're going to come on to hands and knees. So, a little chilly in here. But set this to the side. So just come on to hands and knees. I won't be here for too long, but um, if you want to roll up on that or pillows beneath the knees or that blanket underneath the knees, feel free. You can have, um, that extra cushion can feel really nice. So your wrists come under your shoulders, your knees are hip distance apart. And I'm just going to start by extending the left leg straight back behind, just keeping those toes on the mat. 
So just gonna get used to the shape here. Press through that left heel, we can a nice stretch in the crab. And then draw your navel up toward your spine. And then lift that left leg parallel to the floor. So you can see here. Or if you want to move into that cool bird dog, extend the right arm straight out in front of your thumb up to the sky. And just get long here. Reach through the fingertips. All the way back through the body, back through the left heel. And then exhale everything down, back to table. And extend the right leg straight back and toes on the ground. Just press back through that heel, get that nice stretch in the calf. Draw your navel up to the spine. You can back stay here and gently lift that right leg. Okay, parallel to the earth, keeping the hips square. So it's almost like the head again, a little teacup here. I'm not spilling any tea. Whatever you guys like, wine, beer, <laughs> coffee. <laughs> and then extend the left arm straight out in front and come up. may not seem like much, but I promise you, if you actually stay here for quite some time, your core will be working. And then exhale everything down. I'm going to add on to that a little bit here. So extend the left leg straight back. Take it nice and parallel. Right arm comes up. You're going to look up slightly, maybe reach a little bit more up to the side. So it's going to be a little bit of an arch in the back here. And then on your exhale, round the back and bring the elbow to you. Inhale, stem. Exhale, round. Inhale, stem. Exhale, round. Inhale, stem. And then exhale to table. Inhale, the right leg straight back. The left arm reaches forward. Inhale, little lift. Exhale, round. Elbow to knee. And you're spreading the shoulder blades there. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round it up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. And exhale it back to the top. Now from here, we're going to move into puppy pose. A little bit of a chest and maybe shoulder opening. So we're going to just begin to walk the hands away and keep our hips right over our knees here. And just begin to walk away, walk the hands away. Maybe the forehead comes all the way down to the mat here. And you can just reach out through the fingertips. That may be a little much. You can take a little pillow and put it underneath your forehead head here. Or maybe just come down onto the forearms and find a little rest. So try to find a little resting place for the head. So finding what works for you. A little stretch here for the shoulders at the same time. And coming back to this nice deep breath. You have to go back to that counting in your in your head. Feel free to do that. You can be a nice little anchor when you're just starting. Deep breath in. 
And as we exhale, we're just going to take those hips and sink them into the heels. Come into full child's pose, the last one. And again, here you might need some options. Again, block under the forehead. Maybe the arms need a little break. And we'll wrap them around to the feet. Or you can always also take pillows and blankets, put them underneath the knees. If so you don't feel anything in the knees or thighs, sometimes that really helps. And then you can come down. So again, finding what works for you, and it might change tomorrow. You might need something completely different. And from here, we're going to walk the hands over to the right, just until you feel a nice stretch on the left side. So we're going to try and keep those shoulders even to the floor. So that left one's going to try and pop up here and try and bring it down. You may need to widen your knees a little bit here. And as you take that big breath in, and just notice that air pressing out along those side ribs, through the inner muscles. And then on your next exhale, begin to walk the hands back to center. And then walking them over to the right, or left side, you just did it. Coming back down again, trying to get that head to find some rest in place. Evening out the shoulders. And then inhale back to center. Deep breath in, exhale, as you exhale, go ahead and snake forward onto your belly. And just turn your cheek to the floor here to let your arms come back along your side. And always feel free to close your eyes. Feeling your belly press against the floor with your breath. Then we'll begin to zip up the legs here. Bring your toes, heels, and thighs to touch. Bring the chin back to the center of the mat and flip the palms face down. Take the shoulders away from the ears. And then press the pelvis into the ground, tops of the feet press into the ground, and inhale, lift the chest. Keep that neck nice and long here. Be looking up, just keep looking down, keep the neck long. And then maybe if you want, you can float the feet. And then we close the arms. And just getting nice and long here. Feel that crown of the head reach to the front. And then you're reaching back through the fingertips and toes. You're strengthening the back here. It's very active. Reach, 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 get long. Deep breath in. And exhale. And then bring the hands back under the shoulders. Keep those elbows tucked in. We'll just press up and back. Briefly take another child's pose. Walk your hands back into the body and we're coming up to you. 
So we'll just do a little bit of stretching out with the legs, then we'll come down to our backs, and then we'll be done. All right, so let's start with taking the legs wide. Again, a nice little blanket might be nice here. Just give your hips a little bit of a lift. So the pelvis tilts forward and these forward folds. So just coming back. All right, so whatever wide means for you. You can bend the knees a little bit here, flex the feet, toes up to the sky. And even if you have another pillow or a little block or something to have in front, we're gonna inhale, nice long spine. And then our exhale, again, we're gonna walk the hands forward. Again, very gentle, because we didn't do a lot of warm up here. Just a little bit of a stretch here. If you are hyper flexible, then you can come down, you can come down onto the block, or maybe all the way down to the floor. But again, you don't wanna pull on that back. Just a nice little stretch here. Try and relax through the shoulders. And imagine that tense release we did at the beginning of class. Just focusing on that feeling of the release on our exhale as we let the shoulders melt down. You can make this pose a little more active by pressing the heels into the ground. If you have that range of motion, you're pressing the backs of the knees into the ground. And then hands to the floor, gently coming back up. And Inhale your left arm overhead, and we're just going to come into a nice gentle side bend to the right. So reaching that left hand towards the toes. We're really feeling a stretch here through the left side body, so we're not really getting into the, the legs too much here. Just nice deep breaths. back to center. And we'll take the other side. I like to put my left hand inside, right arm reaches up. And then we'll just fold over. And reach towards your toes. And the legs are still a little active here. You still have that flex in the feet. And inhale back up. Nice. All right, and then bend the knees, bring the legs back together. See, I wore my Tree of Life leggings this evening in honor of spring finally coming and hopefully pushing away a lot of this crazy stuff that's been going on. So, okay, so we're going to bend the left knee, bring the sole of the foot into the right inner thigh here. We're still flexing our right toes. And Maybe kind of actively pressing that knee into the ground. It doesn't quite make it there. Mine's on a blanket, so it's not. Just put a little uh, book, pillow, blanket, whatever you have underneath your knee. And then inhale, both arms overhead. We're going to frame ourselves toward that extended leg. Keep our back nice and long. And then reach, reach, reach out in front. And then once you get you to your threshold, so this is as far as I can reach, just let those arms float down. And just take your gaze to your toes. And try not to notice the fact that you might need a pedicure and it's the long squeeze. Gently inhale back up. 
you have anything underneath your knee, just set it off to the side. We're going to plant our left hand beside our and kind of behind your left hip. And then we're going to rise up onto the left shin and reach that arm overhead up along the side of your ear and just we're lifting those hips up. Nice stretch here. And then exhale down. And then we'll switch to the other side. So left. Leg extends, right knee bends in, left foot flexes. You can do a little prop under the knee here. Inhale the arms. Exhale, reach it forward. Sparge and go, and then just let the hands come down. It might be your knee, your thigh, the shin, maybe it's the toes. And just breathe. It's okay if your mind begins to wander. Don't get frustrated with that. That just means that you're actually a human, breathing person. But we're just noticing that. I mean, noticing it is a great start. And then you just bring it back, bring it back to your breath or mantra or whatever you might be focusing on in your practice. Inhale back up. And supports. The right hand comes behind the right hip. Inhale up onto the right shin. Reach overhead. Lift those hips. Stretch it out. And then exhale it back down. Nice. And then one more thing here before we go all the way down. So just bend your knees slightly here or even. You big bend. <laughs> Flex your feet, toes up to the sky. And any of the arms up. Take a forward fold here. Pachimotanasana. So again, we're going to reach to the front. And then let the arms come down. Take a few breaths here, keeping those knees bent. Yeah, we didn't do a lot of warm up, or maybe you did a workout before this, which is great. You might be able to take it down a little bit further. If you do feel like you have a little bit of room, you can kind of scooch the hips back and maybe take it a little bit deeper. Again, keeping the long spine that we don't want to round the back here. And take it back up. And we'll go down onto our back so we can remove your blankets, should need that. Come down onto our back. And start by opening up the chest a little bit more. So we're going to extend our legs. And we're actually going to sit on our hands. So your palms face down, and you're just going to sit on the hands. Extend the legs, bring the toes to touch. And so your elbows are probably a little bit bent here. So we're going to take those elbows and really begin to kind of walk them, scooch them close into the body. So when you do that, your chest is automatically going to pop up a little bit here. Then you're really going to press your forearms down into the mat, bend at the elbows, and then the back of your head can come onto the floor and support it fish. You can stay here for a few breaths. This doesn't feel good. And you do have some blocks or some supports. Another nice pose is just to take a block underneath the shoulder blades and then let yourself hold under that and let the arms come down beside your head. So, whatever works for you, whatever props you might have, or you can just take a rest and act with Shavasana Fox pose. And if you're ready, if you have the block, just you can walk off to one side. If you are up in fish, you're just going to gently let the shoulders drift or elbows fade out to the side and then come again. 
and then put your hands to the knee. And we'll bend the knees here. And take one bridge pose. So bending the knees, ankles under the knees, and your heels are about in a first distance apart. You're going to press into your heels. My tailbone already starts to lift up here. And then inhale with the hips and the chest up to the sky. Or actually, the chest comes towards your chin and then your chin comes up. And if you want a little bit more, you can interlace fingers and then maybe walk those shoulder blades together so that you can pop up your chest a little bit more. And just no looking around while you're in this pose. <laughs> you're going to take a look and then pop into it. And that's cool. And then when you're ready, you can separate the fingers if you have them and gently roll it down. Just vertebra, right vertebra. Nice and slow. Just reversing the, the way we came up. The last thing that comes down is that turn down. Come up from here, extend your left leg, draw your right knee into the chest. A few deep breaths here. And you draw that knee a little more out towards the ribs, up towards your armpit. And then taking your right hand, it's accessible, grabbing the outside of your right foot. And then you're going to bring your foot up so it's over the knee, almost like you're about to kind of do a one-footed squat on the ceiling here. So you're getting that knee bent close into the chest. So we're in half happy baby here. And here let your knee even drift a little bit more out to the side, a little bit more than your hand here. Gently bring that knee back in and exhale, extend it all the way back down to that. And then draw the left knee in. Up and not so much. Knee comes up towards the armpit. Nice deep breaths here. Actually, a little bit of a digestive massage here. With those deep breaths. Left hand grabs the outside of the left foot and keeping that knee bent, take the knee a little bit wider off to the side and bring the foot over the knee for half happy baby. And if these aren't accessible, so you can always just grab the outside of the thigh or the calf. You know, whatever feels good. You gotta listen to your body, take whatever it needs. And then you're ready. Let's just draw both knees into the chest. Taking the hands on the kneecaps, just make some small circles on the ceiling of your knees. Circling in one direction. Hopefully this feels really good on your lower back. And then switching the direction of your circle. And coming back to center. And then extending the legs all the way out. Let your arms relax at your sides. Turn the palms so they face up. And just scooch those shoulders again down away from the ears. Maybe lift your chin a little bit up towards the side. 
Come into your final resting pose. It might mean something different for you. You want it to be a place of comfort. So if you feel any strain on the lower back, maybe try bending the knees or putting a blanket or a bolster underneath the knees or the thighs. And stay here as long as you like. Just turn off the string and take what you need. And then whenever you're done, just roll your arm to one side, just gently coming back up to see you. And again, so stay there as long as you want. Let's take, when you're done, I'm just gonna simulate taking this nice breath in with you. Exhale out. So I'm happy I was able to share this with you this evening. I hope that something that you find beneficial. Um, just take some time for yourself to kind of rejuvenate, um, reset yourself a little bit here so that you can go into Sunday and next week a little bit more fresh. So thank you guys. Again, miss you. Can't wait to see you all back here. And um, stay well, stay hydrated, eat well. And if you need anything here, um, please let us know. Bye.